my YouTube channel once again. Um, yeah, so just thoroughly cleaned my hair and I conditioned my hair. So if you like to see the full on tutorial of how to deep condition for a, I'm going to say my hair is like type 4A, 3C, but it's really 4A <laughs> hair. Um, but some parts is the ringlets are more curlier than others. So I'm in between, but I think all naturals are in between hair types just because my hair is different from everybody else's. But I'm about to deep condition. So if you want to keep watching the video, thank you guys for tuning in my channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, and subscribe, and keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And you're going to be watching me unravel these twists. They're kind of like about two weeks old. Um, but I had actually put in some conditioner. Um, and yeah, I forgot to rinse it out. So don't do that. But yeah. But, um... It was just like a day that I was in my head. Um, but I was wanted to show you guys my length of my hair. Um, like, it's super cool. I'm about to decondition my hair, but I wanted to show you guys, you know, how the um, growth of my hair is doing. Like, God is amazing. So, um, for all the naturals out there that, you know, I've seen so many videos, and you're trying to figure out, okay, Lord, help me. Like, I'm trying to understand all these different products to use. Um, trying to understand, like, porosity, high porosity and low porosity, and you just all these different terminologies. Just know that keep watching the videos. Like, keep researching for yourself. Don't just piggy off of every single natural naturalista. But do your own research and know your hair. Like, it takes time to learn your hair. I found out that I have low porosity hair because I actually tried, you know, stuff on my hair. So what you do is you cleanse your hair thoroughly. Now this can be with a sulfate shampoo or if you co-wash, however you clean your hair for that particular time frame. Take that clean piece of hair when you're finished conditioning and everything. Take a clean piece of hair, just, you know, pull it out your hair and just kind of stretch it out first and see the curl pattern of your hair and um when you have that piece put it in a glass of water and just see if it rises to the top or if it kind of stays in the middle or if it just sinks <laughs> it's kind of funny how we have some different kind of uh, patterns of hair but anyways so mine should stay at the top so for me i need a lot of moisture i need a lot of water my hair just needs everything that god has on this planet <laughs> I need it all, okay? So, I have low porosity hair, so I, I need to make sure my hair is moisturized, honey. So, if you have high porosity hair, your hair probably sank. If it's in the middle, then you're kind of in between. You might just need protein for your hair. But if your hair just sunk, yeah, boo, you have high porosity. So, your hair... Okay, so you you don't need as much water as we do. You do need water for your hair, but you don't need to, like... So, when you... You, okay, put it like this. When you do your deep conditioner, you probably don't need to damp your hair. You probably can just do a deep conditioner on dry hair and be Gucci Louie. But for someone like me, and everybody's different, but for me, I need my hair to be drenched wet for me to do a deep conditioner, for me to do a twist out, for me to do braid out. That's just how my hair operates. So, yeah. But um, just know that with natural hair, it's a journey. Like, I'm still learning. Like, I'm no expert at all. Did not go to cosmetology school. Um, I don't know everything. But I'm just learning what works for my hair and what doesn't. So I thank you guys for just watching my channel and just learning my hair with me and seeing it grow and everything. But I did notice that my ends are horrible. So I need to decondition my hair. So, yeah. So, um, I've been loving the wig that I've been wearing, but ladies know that when you do have protective styling, whether it be a wig, whether it be crochet, whether it be box braids, whatever you have, make sure underneath you're taking care of your hair underneath. So, I'm just undoing, unraveling my twist. Now, you see how that curl definition is just amazing? I want you guys to see that. So, just because you have 4C hair does not mean you can't have amazing curls. So, I don't want you guys to think, oh, I have 3C, 4 hair um, that means, you know, my hair is not going to be curly like the other girls that I see. Do not compare your hair to anybody else's hair. Your hair is what God gave you. Embrace it, love it, take care of it, and nourish it. So, I want you guys to see, like, the curls are really developing now. Um, if you look at my older videos, you're, you're probably like, whoa, her hair is ground. Yeah, God is in the midst. <laughs> Nothing but him. So, you see, like, this is, like, just me taking out 
um, the twist outs and I'm gonna just rinse out this conditioner and then um, sorry you guys tongue twister I'm gonna um, cleanse my hair and then deep condition it so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing so I'm excited I'm using the cream of nature um, intensive treatment you'll see a picture in a few um, as my um, my um, deep conditioner and make sure when you have deep conditioner um, that you use um, make sure that it says like strengthening mass strengthening treatment like make sure it just has like those that wordage on there not just like any kind of um, any just not don't pick just any kind of conditioner and don't just mimic what you see on the naturalista pages too just make sure you know your hair you know because it, it takes it takes time to learn what your hair truly loves and what ingredients you actually need for your hair to grow and um maintain that um what was i saying word what's the word maintain that growth there we go because you can grow your hair all day but is it strong? Like, see, there's, like, curls, really pretty curls and um, ringlets, as people call them, back here that are starting to really develop. And my hair is growing, but I want to make sure my hair is strong. So that goes to my next thing is clipping the ends, which I'm going to do probably next week because September, yeah, September, time to clip my ends. I try to do it every three to four months. Um, sometimes, sometimes too much it just depends on how my hair looks because i go based off how it looks i try not to stick to like oh it's five months let me cut my hair no i try to go based off how my hair is looking so right now it's okay but i can kind of see like the ends right here kind of thinning a little bit so yeah it's about that time to yeah because that right there is not cute to me like this right here is not cute and i might cut them now i'll see how it looks after i rinse it out but yeah i don't i don't like for it to look like i have a relaxer at the ends that's to me is like when it's kind of like funky and kind of like weird looking that to me lets me know okay girl cut these ends <laughs> but um but yeah you know your hair just keep practicing keep praying and asking the lord to tell you you know okay god how's it? now that is a beautiful ringlet like do you guys see that like oh my gosh so pretty like that's what you're gonna learn about your hair like so pretty like that's not even like a wand. That's, that's like me undoing a twist. Like, praise the Lord. Like, yes. So, you'll definitely get to learn your hair and know um, more about your hair as time goes on. And give your hair time. Like, that's what I'm learning. Like, you guys have seen my videos. Like, how my hair is a journey, okay? Um, but, yeah. So, just take the time. Like, even this. Like, that is... Look at that, you guys. Like, that is bananas long. Like, this is a twist. But that's really, really long. So, just take time so let's go ahead and get this all out and uh clean this hair keep on watching okay guys so my hair is drenched wet which i need it because i have low profit hair like we talked about earlier so i'm going to part my hair into four sections but in each quadrant not eight i'm sorry before <laughs> but in each quadrant i'm going to be probably separating my hair into two parts just because i want to thoroughly penetrate the uh deep condition into my hair because sister girl she needs it okay um but yeah so um i know my hair is so the shrinkage is just real you guys but my hair is actually pretty long and i think a lot of us naturals were always like why is our hair that's like the hair length is all the way down here but oh it stayed so that's how it looks stretched out a little bit now you just got to be careful because when your hair is wet it's the weakest so you just got to be gentle but i i just wanted to show you guys like my natural length is not like this short. I don't think no natural girl her hair, you ever get to see the actual length until you stretch it out. But that's really how long my hair is. So my hair is growing, but I do want to see it go past the bra uh, strap. So I just know the Lord's going to make a way for it to just grow like crazy and be awesome with the ringlets and curls. But anyways, off my soapbox. So I'm going to part my hair into four sections. I'm using clips and I'm going to be using the um, olive oil or as penetrating uh, replenishing pack. So keep on watching. So I have part of my hair in four parts. As you can see, the reason why I have this shirt inside of my shirt is because my hair is dripping wet. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna divide this into sections. I know it's a lot of hair. Some of the hair pieces are coming out, which is cool with me. Little, you know, little flyaways, that's fine. So I just throw those away. It's not that much um, 
fallout which is pretty good but you see my ringlets are really 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 tight so i'm gonna go ahead and get this uh deep conditioner on it because yeah it needs really bad so i'm gonna go ahead and with my fingers i don't use no comb no brushes or nothing like that separate it very gently i'm heavy-handed but i'm really gentle with my hair it doesn't look like it on camera but i really am so just separate it you guys the best way you can it doesn't have to be like a straight part but like just make sure it's you know half if you can um you're gonna be seeing me spray my hair with um two bottles yes they both do say jamaican black castor oil on them however that's not like i'm not putting oil on my hair i'm actually putting water um but yeah so i'm just gonna spray these down just because i like my hair to be damp damp when i put on deep conditioner but just because my hair is a little frosty like i said before yay all right so let's go ahead and get some deep conditioner on my fingers Ooh, this looks creamy and thick i don't think i've tried this one before oh smells really good mm, smells like lemon cookie like from the yeah like a lemon cookie Ooh. Like from the um, Girl Scouts. Wow. Okay. So the first thing, make sure you take your time. So, yeah. So start from the ends of your hair and just apply it all the way straight down. And it's so funny with natural hair because you got to be gentle because your hair is wet because your hair is at its weakest point right now. But you want to make sure you get the product penetrated onto these ends honey like i want yes i need a product on these ends honey the ends is my most that's what i'm really like and then i just kind of break this one in half and you don't ha i mean some people they kind of go like ch -ch -ch, but i just kind of slowly like see i'm not trying to rip anything so like my hair is thick as y'all can see so i kind of break parts and then my fingers are just kind of like make sure the gosh this smells good you guys uh, make sure it um penetrates thoroughly got water dripping over this way trying to make sure i thoroughly get every strand because you do not want to miss any part of the hair so just make sure it's coated in the back too make sure the back coated too It's so long when you stretch out the hair. It's so funny to me how this shrink is. It's real! <laughs> Hoping to not scare my neighbors right there, but yeah. Alright. So, I just want to make sure that it's like... Um, I just want to make sure it's on my hair because I'm not trying to waste no product. Like, I need this on my hair. Like yesterday. So, now I'm going to go to the roots and just to make sure the roots... Are, um, and I'm going to take my I know it looks like I'm taking forever on this one little section, but you just don't want to miss, um, you want to miss no strands of hair. Like, thoroughly, like, especially for thick hair, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, go, do what God tells you to do, but, excuse me, but for me, I got to thoroughly penetrate this onto my hair because my hair is thick, like, <laughs> it's just thick. Okay. Make sure under here. Get some too. And it's a good um detangler. Um, no, it doesn't do justice because you guys are looking at my hair and it doesn't look like it's coming apart, but it is. Um, so do like that. Um, gosh, this feels so good. So I do not have a blow dryer or um diffuser. So I'm just going to put probably my shower cap and then my bonnet just to uh, attract some heat to it and just leave it, probably leave it in my hair for like an hour and a half. I'll cook probably in that time frame and then rinse it out. But I'm, I am going to apply coconut oil to it. So awesome sauce. Looks like it's getting penetrated. And it does make a difference when your hair is damp versus, for me, I mean everybody's different. But for me, I can't do, I tried it when I first was doing natural journey, waste the product because my hair was 
not damp, so it wasn't really absorbing the deep conditioner. I didn't understand that until I was doing my research on my hair type, and I was like, oh, Lord, no wonder it wasn't really, like, getting on my hair strands because my hair wasn't wet. So I put a little bit more on this section, and then I move to the top section. I pray there's enough Jesus. We don't see. My hair is so thick. I should have got two, maybe. The hardest part is separating the other section. Oh, yeah. See, now it's... Oh, yeah. This is working. Now it's, like, really easier for me to detangle. That's why you're supposed to take your time. That's how you can tell it's starting to work. I pray you guys having a blessed day. This is the life of a natural. <laughs> For anyone out there that's like new to it and you're like, oh, this is going to be so easy. Blah, blah, blah. I see everybody. Do mm -mm. Make sure you pray and make sure you, you know, this is definitely going to teach you patience and perseverance. And um, definitely you're going to learn so much about your body. Like definitely what you intake does matter for your hair to grow, for your hair to be strengthened. So a lot of water is good. I'm learning a lot more protein like grains, granola bars, a lot more veggies limiting the fast food like i've rarely eat out i think the only fast food i've eaten oof, ooh, i think it was about jangles i think i do not eat mcdonald's stay away from that oh jesus uh -uh. that's fake food you guys <laughs> praise the lord all right so that's nicely coated great all right let's move to the top so I'll get my water sprayer So any access on my hands, put that on the ends. We won't waste no product over these parts. We won't waste no product, okay? We won't waste no product. Okay. I gotta tell the difference between like this and, and the one that has deep conditioner on it. Yeah, I drench my hair because my hair is a little porosity. So drench, drench, drench. Alrighty, you guys. I'm just so thankful to the Lord. Like, I remember when I first started, like, Natural Journey and the ringlets was not popping. Like, I didn't see. <laughs> My hair was like a Brillo pad. So, uh, that's not encouraging when you're starting out to be natural, right? But, like I said, perseverance and patience will help you. Praise the Lord. Praying does help, too. So, remember, get your ends first. That is your goal. That's your target. Like, your target is your ends because they're the oldest part of your hair. And that's what's going to help your hair grow and stay strengthened if you get these ends, honey. You baby your ends like you would baby, like, baby your um your bottom. Like, you know, you make sure you treat that with care. Same thing as these ends. It's the oldest part of your hair. So, you don't want to mistreat your body. So, don't mistreat your hair. And just really get that product on your ends. Yes. And you can see it too. Like you can see the difference like instant. I mean I do. Like I instantly see okay yep. Yeah, it's getting on my ends. It's helping it you know maturing it. And then just slowly start to detangle. And the, the blessing that God has shown me though is the types of shampoos you use and the shampoos you use <laughs> but yeah so that does matter too so because when your hair is like nicely clean it does help you um to you know detangle your hair so it won't be so naughty like mine's is <laughs> but no mine's always does this because my hair is thick like i'm trying to tell you like my hair is it. So even though I have a banging conditioner, like it really, I mean, y'all don't understand. Like this is the, is really good detangling for me because <sighs> coarse, very coarse. My hair is very coarse. I was just saying that. But yeah, for me to go like put my fingers through like that and like go like get to the end, that's nothing but God. All right. So of course you know a little bit more. On my fours, y'all know we gotta put a little extra product because um <laughs> the way our hair is set up. So 
So especially with the back, we can't see the back. So I, I love to make sure that I thoroughly coat the back because we we can't, you can't see, you cannot really see. So you don't want to miss any parts of the section, you know? So just thoroughly get the top part since you've thoroughly penetrated the ends. Now you can focus on the rest of the, the whole section. Man, my hair is a long... I have never... Wow, I remember when I first started, like, gripping my hair with two hands. That's nothing but the Lord, you guys. Like, I know that's, like, really not, you know, huge when you see, like, the glam twins and all the other people, the naturals that have longer hair. But for me... I praise God right now because that is nothing but God for me to even have both of my hands grip up grip a quadrant what God you are the MVP forever okay so I'm just kind of applying you know my fingertip just to detangle a little bit and make sure that all the product is thoroughly distributed to each hair strand the best of my ability and I'm just praying that once I do the final coat, when, every, when all of it's on my hair, then everything will get distributed. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and part it again. See how easier that was than, like, before? And which way am I going? This way, Lord? Which way do you want to go? This way? Okay. We'll go this way. And just make a little twist. This is the thickest twist I think I've ever done in a while. I, try, I usually break them up, but it's deep conditioning, so it's okay. It's okay. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to um, decondition, you know, Lord help me. I'm going to put one more coat, you know, on all of them. So, yeah. So, which way are we going, Lord? I try to follow, I try to follow, like, where he wants me to go. I don't just do whatever. All right. Take this out and clip. And do the other three sections just like the same way. Remember, extra product, go ahead and just rub it on your hair. I make sure I touch my edges first. That's a trick. So any extra product, just go ahead and put it on your ends. Or edges, sorry. Put it on your edges, go ahead and just put it on the edges. You don't waste no product. I mean, I don't. So go ahead and just, see, get all that off of your hands. Put it on your edges first. Look at them edges. Like, how are they laid? I haven't even put no... Okay, guys. So, I have saturated my entire head full of deep conditioner. So, now I'm going to just coat it with the coconut oil. So, I got it from Trader Joe's Organic Awesome Sauce. Unrefined. Um, it says expeller pressed virgin coconut oil. Awesome. So, I'm going to just saturate this into each quadrant. I do love this deep conditioner. I do really feel it penetrating on my hair right now. So, awesome sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and use my hand and any comb, not for my hair, <laughs> just to get the conditioner, I mean the coconut oil out, sorry. So y'all know this, which I used to do back in the day, to get it out from the bottom. All right, so, oh my gosh, that was like the most amazing catch ever. Okay, there we go. Hey, okay, so let's try this again. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just place into my hand. And I've already coated this last quadrant already, so I'm just go ahead and put the coconut oil on it. Um, I do see a difference in my hair. It's so deep. Like, the detangling, awesome sauce. I can put my hands right through my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and coat this right on top. I don't know if you guys can really see the ringlets, but my hair feels so smooth. Like, I just love my hair right now. So I'm just coating it with coconut oil right now so I can let I can let it sit. I don't have a dryer like I said before, so I'm just gonna um put um a shower cap, you guys, and then um just you know wait for it to penetrate. Alright, that looks really good. Alright, let me do this side. I usually start um front and then back. So I'm just gonna unravel this little twist right here so yep awesome so go ahead and get the coconut oil and i've noticed this coconut oil is awesome on my hair so 
any coconut oil you use it doesn't really matter i mean it's not like use this one and it'll help your hair whatever works for you works for you so same process i just prefer to start at the edges but you can do however you want to do it i just like to work my way from the top to the bottom when i decondition i work from my way from the bottom to the top but when i put on the actual coconut oil to just coat the hair i just like to work from the top to the bottom but whatever way works for you and they just kind of just finger massage my hair because i have some on my fingertips so just kind of finger massage it on and then just get a little bit more for the ends and then that's it all it is to it so the ends cannot stay i don't love them i do <laughs> i do love my ends all right and a little bit over here because i didn't put any on the ends And now the back. Wow, the back feels so good. Okay, take that clip out. And I did, I did a little twist back there. So, unravel this twist. It's so damp. It's just weird because, like, you know, my hair is, like, damp. All right. There we go. And get some coconut oil. I got to get some more of this, too. This lasted a long time, though. Wow. All right. And just start from the base of my or the scalp part sorry and just go underneath get them edges in the back for real i think that's why my hair has grown so tremendously because i really paid attention to the back needs love you know so like that's that's so long like look at that like that's crazy long so yeah and just get the ends and just bring it down all right and last but not least, okay, clippy, and I did a little twist, so unravel this twist. This is the first quadrant, it's still wet. <laughs> so funny. All right. scalp I really like to get the back because you can't see it and I want to make sure this stuff is coated so that way the deep conditioner can really penetrate and then finger massage finger massage whoa fly away what the heck <laughs> I was like, what is that on my face? <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, guys. My hair feels so good. I just like the finger massage a little bit. Get that blood flow circulating. Promotes hair growth too. And don't use your nail. Just use your fingertips when you do that. Alright, that's enough. Get a little shaky. A little bit. Alright. It looks so good already. All right. All these flyaways, what the world? That's how I know it's time for me to cut my ends. Yeah, next week when I, when I mm -hmm, kind of cut these ends. Okay, so that all applied. Awesome. Awesome, all right, so I'm just gonna work on this side and just um, twist it down. I know some people don't do this, but I just like to make sure that my hair stays detangled. <laughs> so I just twist it downward. Like that, and then just um, twist it like that. Because everything is up. And then just kind of like pin that down and then push that back. And get the clip and go 
downward. Will it work this time? Let's see. Sometimes it doesn't want to work. There, it worked. All right. So this side, it's not gonna be perfect. I just needed to. My hair is thick. I just needed to um go down a little bit so that way when I put the shower cap on and the um the um bonnet that it's you know a little bit down versus all over the place because that doesn't really help me out all right maybe i did it wrong i might do the other side over because this one looks better on this side <laughs> it's always that one bad side that just be like uh because watch this is Yeah, this side's a little bit better. Okay. That's the beauty of trial and error. You just try it again. <laughs> All right, try it again. It's so slippery because of the coconut oil. So it's like, Lord, please be in the mist. All right. It feels so good. I can just feel the deep conditioner working. Like the way that the, the wave pattern is, like, yes. Okay. So let's try it. Okay, that looks a lot better. Let's see how it's going to work out here. It's such a big clip. That's probably the problem. Beautiful. Praise the Lord. All right. Shower cap. And then my, um, gosh, my hair feels so good, you guys. <laughs> my, um, bonnet is in the kitchen, so I'm going to go grab it. Okay, so I got my bonnet from the kitchen. I was washing my hair and I took it off, so. I got this from Walmart. It was like six bucks. It's so awesome because it's satin, so really, really good for any protective styles that you do especially like the twist outs the braid outs is so awesome and it's good for your edges this part is satin too so this is really good for the edges it lays them down so that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna start cooking shrimp, shrimp i think shrimp and chicken alfredo or just chicken well what you want lord let's see probably just chicken i'll see see what the lord wants but um so about 45 minutes i'm gonna have this in my hair and then rinse it out okay guys so yeah, so I had the uh, deep conditioner in my hair for two hours instead of one hour. I was cooking and then I ended up eating and I was watching a thing on YouTube. I was like, ooh, I gotta rinse out my hair. But, praise the Lord, my hair looks amazing. Like, you guys know the difference between when I first did my hair. Like, I see the ringlets are defined. My hair is very soft. Um, yeah, so deep condition. All naturals out there, deep conditioning your hair. Oh my goodness. So, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair. So, um, wow. Like I'm just, I'm impressed. Like the ringlets look really good. It just looks better. Um, yeah. I use a towel to air dry my hair, but it just, oh, it feels so soft. Oh my goodness. Like yes, definitely. I can tell it's nice and moist and um the moisture yeah like i can like can you like see it feels a lot stronger um so yeah definitely kudos to that deep conditioner right there yeah um so i'm gonna go ahead and just um probably to put my hair in four plaits as always and probably just twist it because it's just simple for me to just twist it up and it grows my hair out and it's a protective style so that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my hair in four quadrants. Okay, so I have four quadrants, you guys. Awesome sauce. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put my leave-in conditioner. Now, this is a rinse-out conditioner, but I'm using this as a leave-in conditioner because it really works well on my hair. So, 
it's just the Trader Joe's Nourished Spa Conditioner. A lot of naturals talk about this one, and I do love it. And it's really cheap. You <laughs> can't go wrong. And it has argan oil in it, so um, I do like to either rinse out this or leave it in my hair. But for this um, style, I'm going to just leave it in my hair. So I'm going to put it all through the quadrant. Starting with my ends first. Y'all know, got to get them ends first. So start with the ends first and then just um, work my fingers to putting it all through my hair. And this does help me detangle it too. So start with these ends. My hair feels so soft, you guys. Like there needs to be a, um, a touch button on YouTube. YouTube, I said it first. <laughs> there needs to be a touch button so you guys can like touch my hair. It's so soft. So my hair is damp, like very, very, very damp. That deep conditioner, oh, you guys, like, oh my goodness, it feels so good. Um, I look forward to doing a wash and go. I'm going to try it again because, you know, y'all know the previous videos, my wash and goes, they've been alright. You know, they've been alright, you know, but I just look forward to getting products that work for my hair type. I just wanted to get some of that product off my ear. I don't waste no product, you guys. <laughs> so I just kind of get that finger. All right. So that product is all through my hair. And you see that I've got little ringlets. So like, yay. Okay, so um, I'm going to just do some twists because it's just so easier. It's just easy for me. So I'm going to break this up probably into one, two, three, probably three. So probably do three twists. So, um, yeah. So this is one twist. So I'm just going to detangle some more. And it feels really good on my hair. And it's moisturizing. Like It's lightweight, but it does really good with moisturizing my hair. Alrighty. And then I'm going to add the Garnier Fructis Buttercream. My fave. Absolute fave ends first and just work your way up oh it smells so good my hair feels so strong like yeah deep conditioning is where it's at for all natural girls out there and there's some men out there natural too so uh deep conditioning is where it's at but oh this feels so good i look forward to doing my daughter's hair whenever i have a kids like i just look forward to like helping her like embrace her natural hair and if she wants to relax her that's fine too but I do want her to like at least embrace her natural hair first and then if she just says ma it's too much for me then we can get a relax that's fine but I want her to at least see her options because I never knew my hair could grow long like this I thought you always had to have relaxer you know all right now I'm just gonna split this up into two sections and start my choice making sure I get all the baby hairs in the back and just work my way down it's gonna dry um, my hair color it's not gonna dry white like this but it's gonna be very moisturized so I'm very excited about that and I'm gonna do this around my whole entire head so the same process so each quadrant mm, well, I know the top two are probably going to have four or six just because the top is usually a lot uh, more hair than the back for some reason. But, um, but yeah, so that's my twist. That's how it looks. So very, very, very clean and moisturized. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to do two more. And remember, any product on your hands, you just carry it over. I don't waste no product. It just, I don't see the point of wasting part. Like, why would you even want to do that to yourself? Okay. Hopefully that will stay over there. Alright. So I've already put the, um, nourish spa. So now i got to put the buttercream to each section. And just kind of break it down and detangle as I go. So that way each strand is coated with the buttercream and I noticed this is a really really good moisturizer like it really is um for curls let's kind of detangle as I go Ru see see look at that already detangled already like it just goes straight through 
Okay. And separate into two. And then make sure I don't get the top part. It's getting so long, I have to like move it over. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And just start your twist. Make sure you don't get the hairs from the top section. And if you do, just kind of just whoo, whoo, go like that. Of course, when I get more clips, it'll be easier for my hair to not be in my way when I'm doing a twist. And you just twist, 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 twist. That's all you do. It's really not that bad. Taking it out is even easier because all you gotta do is put some coconut oil on your palms and unravel. And it comes out really, really, really pretty. Like, I'm so excited for tomorrow. Alrighty. So that's that twist. Very moisturized. Alright, and last but not least, so put that product on that just in case. Don't wanna waste no product. So go ahead and add that to that root. Because them, them scalp and edges, they do need some. Put a little bit. Look at my. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That looks really healthy. Nice and healthy. See? Alright. Just a little bit more. Not too much because I got some on my hands. But just like that much. I always go for the ends first and then work my way up. And I just want to make sure that this is nicely coated. So make sure I get the top part up there because sometimes I forget about the top. So, and then just uh, make sure you detangle. Detangle, detangle, detangle. Detangling really does help the style too. So if your hair is all matted up and like, um, whatchamacallit, if your hair is matted, it's not going to really do you justice when you're trying to style your hair. Which is, I think, is probably why my wash and goes in the beginning beginning learning my hair like the natural way didn't really go good because i didn't understand the detangling like i didn't want to pull my hair out so i didn't really understand like the whole thing you know what i'm saying hope that makes sense but i'm pretty sure now that i'm kind of understanding my hair now whenever i decide to do another wash and go it'll be a lot better a lot smoother and i understand to apply the product thoroughly and penetrating each hair strand so that way um the product really thoroughly you know penetrates so that way the wash and go has better results and there you go there's all three of them i'm keeping